You already know how important singing practice is. You already know that poor practice can lead to poor results. But did you know that singing practice can be fun, highly rewarding, and an opportunity to be super creative. In this video, we are going to take your singing practice and your voice to the next level. If you want to get the best results from all of your hard work, keep watching. Sound check. Check one, check two. G'day, welcome back to Voice Essentials. I'm Dr. Dan and I'm so glad you've taken this quick moment to click on my video because I know that the next few minutes are going to help you get the absolute best results from your singing practice. I've talked about singing practice many times before here on the channel, but today I'm going to save you a whole heap of search time and place all of the information about excellent singing practice into one video, this video. And most importantly, I'm going to teach you how to construct your own practice schedule to achieve the absolute best results from your vocal development. In fact, I've created a free downloadable worksheet for you to use, which I'll refer to later in the video. It's going to come in super handy, so make sure you grab your free copy via the link in the description section below the video. So, to start, let's quickly revise some information we've covered before about how to practice singing. Firstly, when you're just starting out, I highly recommend practicing every second day for about 20 minutes. Now, hear me out here because I know that when people first commence their learn to sing journey, they are really enthusiastic and all they want to do is sing for hours on end, day after day. I get it, I love singing too, but we need to be careful when we first start because our voices are biological instruments and so we need to build up our vocal strength over time. If I took up running as a sport and I decided to run a marathon, it would be foolhardy to lace on my joggers and immediately expect to have the endurance required to run 42 kilometers. In fact, if I did that, I would likely do myself a lot of injuries because my body has not been built up and prepared for the challenge of a full marathon. So, a safer approach is to start by running a couple of kilometers every other day, slowly increasing the length and frequency over time. And the same goes for your vocal development. We are building your vocal musculature and we want to do it carefully and wisely. So, for example, if you're working with my Voice Essentials 1 exercise collection, start with exercise 1 and 2 and do them every second day for a week, limiting your practice time to about 20 minutes. As the weeks progress, add a couple of new exercises each week, and when you do, add an extra 5 minutes to each practice session. There are 18 activities in Voice Essentials 1, so it should take you between 10 to 12 weeks to cover all the exercises, by which time you should be practicing for about an hour every second day. And this includes learning and singing through one or two songs every practice session. This is the exact same approach I take with students and take new students through as a part of the Voice Essentials 1 online course. So if you're looking for a guided vocal development process to get you started, I'll leave a link in the description section below for you to check out the course later. Once you've built your voice and vocal stamina, it's time to extend your capacity. You will have noticed that when using the Voice Essentials 1 exercise collection, your practice time is spanning a full hour. But of course, Voice Essentials 1 is only the beginning of your vocal development. We still need to work our way into Voice Essentials 2 and 3. And this is where we need to get a little creative because for most avocational singers, practicing more than an hour is not practical, nor is it required to advance the voice. So the first alteration to the practice regime we've been observing during Voice Essentials 1 is to allow ourselves to practice up to five times per week. In my estimation, it is vital to allow the voice a couple of days rest per week. So, for example, you might choose to practice Monday, Tuesday, rest Wednesday, practice Thursday through Saturday, and rest again on Sunday. Of course, you would need to organize your timetable according to your weekly schedule, but I cannot overemphasize how important it is to give your voice those couple of days of rest and repair. And once you reach the activities of Voice Essentials 3, I would still aim to maintain two rest days per week, but simply extend the practice session length 
out to between one and a half to two hours long, including a 10 to 15 minute break in the middle of the practice set. So in short, during Voice Essentials 1, practice every second day and build up to an hour. When you add Voice Essentials 2, increase the frequency per week and aim to maintain the practice duration of an hour. And when you get to Voice Essentials 3, continue to observe two days of vocal rest per week, but extend your practice session lengths if required. It is important to note that all of this is negotiable and should be adjusted according to your own vocal stamina, general well-being, time availability, and your reason for practice. So doing a little less practice is certainly okay. And for some, doing a little more practice a little more often is also okay. It's essential to manage the model according to your own voice and circumstance. Just be sure to adhere to the two rules of increased practice loads gradually over time and always build in rest days to allow the voice recovery time to avoid repetitive strain injuries. So we've talked about the how and the when, let's now talk about what. But before we do, please take a moment to click the thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video thus far. If you're currently working with the activities in Voice Essentials 1, then an hour is all you'll need to practice most of the exercises plus running through one or two songs. But as I stated earlier, as you move into the Voice Essentials 2 and 3, you won't be able to fit all of the exercises into an hour. And this is where your practice can become really interesting and highly rewarding. I think one of the main reasons people find themselves avoiding singing practice that has a technical focus, that is singing exercises and not just songs, is the repetitive nature can become rather dull and boring. But allow me to suggest that it doesn't need to be that way. If all you do is hit play on exercise one and then simply go from one exercise to the next in a mindless fashion, then yeah, you can expect to become completely disillusioned with your singing practice very quickly. But there are other approaches that are both fun and highly rewarding to those who can show a bit of initiative and creativity. One such method is to consider certain aspects of the voice and design your practice around one of the eight key areas of focus for vocal development. At the bottom of each lesson sheet in the Voice Essentials e-manuals, is a sliding scale graph showing each of the eight areas of focus that is being addressed by each individual exercise. For example, here in exercise one, we can focus on our body alignment, phonation, as well as the vocal track shape. At the same time, loudness, for example, is not something we need to necessarily worry about. If we jump over to exercise 24 in Voice Essentials 2, we can see that in addition to body alignment, both resonance and pitch are now being workshopped. All 50 activities in the Voice Essential suite of exercises has a different key area of focus or the multiples of such. These differences allow us to construct our practice time around each of the eight areas of focus. So for example, let's say you wanted to specifically work on your breathing, then your practice session might look like this. You could start with inhale, suspend, exhale in exercise 12, followed by the sibilant fricatives in exercise 20 and exercise 36. You could then revisit the sense of reduced air pressure used in twang with exercise four, followed by the extended phrases requiring better breath management in exercises eight, 14 and 24. How you move and manage the breath stream can also be applied to onsets and offsets. So exercises 25, 26, 45 and 46 and no practice session focused on breath management would be complete without workshopping the king of vocal exercises, the Mesa de Voce. So you could complete your technical workout by doing exercises 29 and 43. You may have noticed that this approach is far less linear and jumps between the three exercise collections using exercises from each. Other non-linear constructions of lesson time might have you focus on pitch accuracy, registrational transitions, or even range extension. I won't go through all of them for you now, but I would encourage you to download the free worksheet I mentioned earlier, where I have pre-planned a vocal workout for each of the eight areas of technical focus. Of course, 
the prepared workouts correspond with my full suite of vocal exercises. So if you don't already own a copy of the Dr. Dan's Voice Essentials exercise collections, I've created a bundle option for you to grab both the worksheet bundled with the exercise suite. But before you race off to grab your exercise and free worksheet, let me offer you one more way that you can use the exercises. So far, we have talked about using the activities for a technical workout, but not every practice session needs to be focused on technique, especially if you're preparing for a performance or an audition. But in my humble opinion, every practice session, including those where singing through songs will be the main focus, should be preceded by a 10 to 15 minute period of vocal warm up. Click on this video and I'll step you through a super easy warm up designed to get the most out of your voice when practicing songs. See you soon, I'm Dr. Dan, sing well.